what most feminists and most feminist scholars and researchers will, will see as key um, to feminist theory uh, and research is the fact that women and their contributions um, have been marginalized, um, and this is reflected in research practice. The norms of science, how do they disguise um, what, what is perhaps some view as a masculinist view of the world, which is then portrayed as neutral and objective, um, which is key to all feminist research, which differs in some ways from what is traditionally thought of as the role of the social researcher, being to under, explain and understand the social word, world, is the desire to change women's conditions through research. And that, in some ways, is key, the connection between scholarship and political action. Um, so, feminist research is not just about um, uh, understanding society, it's about changing society. It has emancipatory and liberatory goals for women. Um, so, in this way, feminist research not only produces knowledge, um, but it is, has to be useful knowledge. So that leads on to the next big issue that we'll be looking at in the workshops and putting into practice, critiques of positivism or empiricism. Now we know that positivism is a, a objective epistemology. Um, the uh, reality, it sees reality or facts as is existing out there in the world independently of our interpretations of them. So the task of the researcher is to go out there and discover or test these objective facts about the world. And for this reason, the researcher must be detached, must be value-free, uh, must be objective. Now, as you can imagine, there are a number of feminist critiques of positivism and uh, empiricism. In particular, the fact that this universal objective knowledge is not objective, but implicitly uh, values a masculine knowledge which either overlooks or silences or excludes women. And most importantly, objectivity itself, they say, is an is a, uh, unattainable and indeed undesirable goal. We all come to research with our own preconceived ideas. Um, uh, which we bring to the process, how we select our subjects to re of topics of research, how we go about it, how we analyze it. As I'm sure you're all aware, the basis of constructivism is that social reality is not um, rooted in objective fact, but is constituted, created, constructed. Um, and so our data in research, we don't go out there and collect data, we're creating data. The constituting of gendered subjectivities, uh, and I'll talk a bit tomorrow um, uh, and we can discuss um, how that was really important in the research that I've uh, undertaken on um, um, domestic abuse in private law cases between divorcing couples.